was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted Hi guys! For today's video, I wanted to do a little unboxing and review of my new Burberry bag and show you guys what you can truly fit inside of it and maybe some outfits you can even pair with it. So if you're interested in this video, then stay tuned. The box is inside of this bag and I'll show you guys what's inside. Ta-da! This is where the beauty is inside. So before I show you guys the bag, I want to do a little behind the story on how I was able to get this Burberry bag. This bag is actually a 23rd birthday gift from my parents and my boyfriend, so it's super special. And I've been really wanting this bag for a really long time. This isn't my first designer or a luxury bag, but it's probably one of my most favorite ones and the one that I'm really excited to just wear out for the first time. This also isn't my first Burberry product, but it's my first Burberry bag. So I'm really excited to add it to my new collection. If there's one thing about me and fashion is that I adore handbags. More than designer clothing, I find myself being drawn to bags and all of its different kind of styles and different brands and that it can actually be a staple to a simple or really fancy outfit. I also love investing in bags too because I know that for the future, hopefully if I have a daughter, which I really want to, I can just pass it on to her because I know that my mom thought the exact same thing too. So here and there, I'm able to use her bag and I really love hearing the stories behind how she got these bags and what type of trends were in back then and what style she liked. I distinctively remember me always being in love with her Dior bag. It was just this unique style, not the type of saddle bags that you see these days, but there were little pockets everywhere and it was a long one. I remember me always just fawning over it and wanting it so much when I grow older and she would always tell me about how my dad got it for her and then there was also this Gucci bag and it's so pretty. It's this big tote bag and I remember that she told me that she got it when she was only 16 or 18 as a gift from my grandma. So I just love the stories that bags hold. Hopefully when I have a daughter in the future I'm able to tell her the story of how I got this bag from her. So let's get on to it and show you guys the bag I have inside. So it comes in this really pretty pistachio green tissue box and has the Burberry sticker. And then this dust bag is so pretty. Are you excited? I'm super excited. Every time I open this up, it's like the same feeling I got when I first got it. Oh my gosh. Ta-da! This is my Burberry Leather and Vintage Check Note Crossbody Bag. So this is my bag. It's this really pretty walnut colored. So the first thing that drew me to this bag was how classic and elegant it looked. It didn't just scream Burberry and maintained a very pretty appearance to it. And I loved how I could dress this up or dress this down. I was a little bit iffy on the strap. They say Burberry on all over it. I didn't know if I would like this from the pictures online because it was a bit loud. I don't really like loud things. I don't mind it having a brand on the clothing, but if it's a little bit minimalistic, and it doesn't really draw attention to it. I'm not really a big fan of designer things that just scream like the brand everywhere. But seeing it in person, I actually don't mind it since it's kind of a tan color. It's not that noticeable. When you put it on, even though on camera you can distinctively tell that it says Burberry, when you put it on, you can't really tell that much. First things first is that open this bag, you have to push it in. You push in the middle and then it opens like that and there's actually two magnets right here and right here. So when you close it, it just snaps. And I love that. Also, my favorite part of this bag would have to be the classic Burberry design. I love Burberry, especially because of its design. But inside of this bag, I still have the tissue, but it's very roomy as you can already tell. What I really wanted for my next designer handbag was for a bag that could fit my daily essentials that I would carry. A lot of my bags were either too small were too big so I wanted one that was perfect that could fit everything that I needed. So as you can tell the bag has a Burberry design in the inside and it comes with with one back pocket and additional one in the front. 
which I thought was so convenient. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to be putting in this bag. It's usually what's in my daily bag. So it'll be a kind of what's my bag video too. So the first thing that I usually put inside my bag when I'm going outside is my wallet. So this is actually the Burberry Motif Monogram Lambskin Card Holder and it's quilted. My boyfriend also got this for my birthday too. So this one's also really special. And it doesn't have the classic Burberry design. Instead, it has the latest TB. So it looks like this. It was so pretty in store and just immediately caught my eye. And I loved how it was quilted too. So I knew that I had to get it. And I didn't opt for a Burberry wallet because I don't really carry around cash since I usually carry around my card and just my ID. So I just wanted something that was small that could quickly fit inside my bag and that I could quickly take out and that wasn't bulky. So I opt for a card holder. And this one, I usually have my cards up in the front and the back and then inside if I do carry cash on the rare occasions then I'll have it in there but usually I just put Polaroids of my friends and my boyfriend so the first one is a Polaroid of my boyfriend and then the next one is a Polaroid of me and some of my college roommates I love this picture and It'll probably be a picture that I'll keep forever. And then the last one is a picture of me and my college best friends since freshman year. So I'll put this one inside the bag. And what I realized is that I'm starting to like putting my wallet in the front pocket. So it's easier for me just to take it out real fast. There's so much room even with putting just my card holder in it. The second item that I like to put in my bag is my makeup bag. My makeup bag is kind of big and these days I've been looking for a more smaller makeup bag that can fit only my essentials because I carry a lot of makeup in it that I don't even end up using when I go outside. So since it's big, it takes up the majority of the space. But there's still space right here which I like to put my camera in. I love this hand sanitizer. It's just an average Bath & Body Works antibacterial hand gel in the scent fresh water and aloe but this scent is amazing and i ordered like maybe an eight pack hand sanitizer from amazon and i've already used up a significant amount of it i don't usually like putting anything in the back of my bag so i tend to keep the back pocket empty and maybe when i go out put an extra mask in there there you have it. My daily essentials that I usually keep in my bags are my makeup bag that has all my lotions, my makeup, and my compact cushions. And then I put in usually my camera and my wallet and my hand sanitizer. And my phone, I always keep it in my pocket so it never goes inside my bag. But those are just the few things that I put inside my everyday bag and they all perfectly fit in here and even have extra space in it, which I love. This bag is very big and comfy and as you can see, it just has flat bottom so it sits perfectly when you're putting it on tables or anywhere and it won't really move around and just looks nice and sleek. And what I also love about this bag is that it's actually a crossbody bag but I found out through other YouTube videos that I've watched of this bag is that it can end up being a shoulder bag or you can even make it as a sleek bag to go on your arm when you're going out. So I'll be showing you guys in the outfits that you can pair with it how you can pair this bag in different ways. of my Burberry bag and the outfits that you guys can pair with it too. I know I had tons of fun and I had a great time introducing my new bag to you guys and hopefully if you guys are interested or on the lookout of a bag yourself, specifically a Burberry one, you guys can go and try out this one for yourself too. And my next video is going to be about the luxury makeup products or beauty products that I have. So if you guys are interested on that too, stay tuned. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye! Thank you.